Some drinks beer, this is a beer review. So today's beer comes from Pipeline Brewing Co. It is a can of their Double Dreams, a double IPA with do, 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 Citra Mosaic and Idaho 7, 8% ABV. Pipeline are from St Agnes in Cornwall. Um, this is my first ever beer from them. Um, I've heard good things. So, yeah, let's get it in the glass. Oh, a lovely colour. Look at the colour. Look at the colour. Oh, I've got it all in in one, but look at the colour. Looks like custard, doesn't it? Look at that. Oh, looks amazing. I don't know when this was canned. The best before is March 2022. So it makes me think it was... Probably can some time in. So I've got a six month, uh, six month sell by. I imagine sometime maybe in September. I don't know. Oh, don't know any canning date on there. Never mind it. But I'm sure it's fresh. But just yeah, just look at the colour. It is a beautiful looking beer. Just like I said, just looks like custard. Let's get the smell. Smells good. Super citrus stone fruit. Oh, blueberry. Dank. Oh, smells like a fruit cocktail, if I'm honest. Pineapple. I'm dipping my nose in now. <laughs> uh, Orange grapefruit. Oh my days, it smells amazing. Absolutely amazing. I just can't wait to get into this now. Let's let's have a let's have a sip. Oh it tastes good. It tastes really good. That is one fruity bastard, that. It's it's quite dank, but it's like got like a like, nice sort of like minty flavour to it. That's like a, really, it tastes like a fruit cocktail. Right, tons of citrus, stone fruits, particularly mango. Really zesty. Slightly herbal. Yeah, it's quite similar to their uh, Cornish cousins of Verdant, if I'm honest. Maybe just a slightly, oh, I can't put a finger on it, but there's a slightly unique taste of it. I, I mean, it's a good unique taste, like. Right. It's almost like i trying to put my finger on it. It's almost like kiwi fruit. But it's, it's, I mean, there's so many, different, so much going on. It's got a good thick body on it.
a little bit of sort of like tea on the finish from the Idaho 7. The Idaho 7 tends to, seems to sort of be more on the finish, while I said the citrus is probably the most dominant in the flavour. But the mosaic does add a nice sort of berry flavour in there and sort of dankness. This is lovely to be honest. It's got a nice little bit of, little bit of bitterness, but it kind of reminds me of, you know, pineapple bitterness. Like, you know, when you have pineapple, it has that bitterness. It's like that. It's very pine, a lot of pineapple in here. It's all. It's kind of like one of them tins of that, f like that fruit cocktail you get. It's just so much fruit. No, it's my first beer from Pipeline, will not be my last beer, so won't. it won't be the last because I've got another beer by them in the fridge, but <laughs> but if if I didn't, it still wouldn't be my last because it is excellent. Let's let's rate this bad boy up. But yeah, great first beer I've had from Pipeline, to be honest. Like I said, it could quite easily be by their fellow Cornishman Verdant, who are the kings of this sort of beer. Um, a lot going on, so much fruit, uh, you know, again, citrus, zesty, lemon, and just mangoes, pineapple, a little bit of kiwi fruit, a little bit of blueberry, a little bit of sort of, uh, well, really dank, a bit of mint, a bit of tea. Great fruit, all the fruit, all the fruit, and the three hops work together so well. I mean, when I say three hops, I mean the three hop varieties. There isn't just three hops in this, because <laughs> that wouldn't be a very good beer. I think that, I think I think that's what uh, Green King do. They put three hops in their beer. <laughs> um. Yeah, um, yeah, it's really right up. It's gonna get a good score. It's a tough one. Cause does it get does it get full marks? Does it get full marks? I think it does. I think this gets a five out of five. It, it, screw it, it's getting a 5 out of 5. You know, and what a first impression to leave on me, really, for this brewery. So, yeah, check this these guys out, and if you can pick up a can of this beer, pick it up, because it is phenomenal. One, you know, one of the best dippers I've had in a long time. And I've had some fantastic dippers recently, so... Yeah, this, this, this is special. It's a special, special beer, and... Yeah, maybe a real up and coming brewery pipeline, and I hope they sort of get to I guess the level of the likes of sort of Verdant and Cloudwater and the On Raptor and Daya and the likes, you know, in the sort of in the sort of with sort of get a similar following in the craft beer community as them because. Yeah, if, if they produce beers half as good as this, they, they are, they, des <coughs> they deserve to be sort of spoken about in the same sort of um, tone, really. So yeah, no, this has been a review of Pipeline Brewing Co's Double Dreams, Double IPA, a fantastic, fantastic beer. One I couldn't recommend enough. Um, please drop your thoughts below. Like, subscribe. I'd be on tap. Some drinks beer ninety three. 
follow me on Instagram, SamDrewsBAYT. Click the old bell icon and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.